the microphone, but then I didn't put it in my ear. Okay. <gasps> I hear music. That's not a good sign. <laughs> it's never a good sign when you hear music through your... Well, I mean, you should hear music through your earbuds, but not if you're trying to record something. Um, hey! Okay. <clears throat> this is what's happening. All right. I normally go on live every single morning for about 30 minutes on Instagram and I have decided maybe to try coming on live on Facebook now here's the deal Facebook is my favorite place to be on live but Instagram has the filters that make me look like a rock star <laughs> so that is actually the only reason that I go on live on Instagram um, and what I typically do is I record it on Instagram and then I save it and then I post it on Facebook and post it on my blog and post it on YouTube. So I only do, it's like an extra step for me, but I only do it because I love the filter that gives me like the good lipstick or the filter that makes me have long eyelashes or perfect skin, that whole deal, right? So, oh, this one's giving me earrings, kind of. I don't have on earrings. I don't, I have on makeup, but I don't have on blush like it is. And I do, this is my lipstick. Anyway, I'm all off topic. All right. So, um, if you've never watched me live before, um, I'll tell you what I do. And then if you want, you can watch the, the previous ones on um, YouTube or on my blog once I get them all uploaded. Um, but basically what I do is um, talk about, I have this hour long commute, right? So I have like a straight, it's a straight freeway. It's going against, like away from the traffic and it's just this long straight drive. And it's an hour every morning and hour every evening. So I am a morning person, I've learned. and. I just think on this drive like I listen to books I listen to personal development and I just have a flood of ideas first thing in the morning about everything and it kind of guides my life so what I've been doing is one day I was having this flood of ideas like thoughts and things that I could do and make and I was like let me just turn the camera on and just share all of this with everybody so um, so they can see the process because my whole point is for you to, to learn how to manifest and so you can see the process of manifesting and making your dreams come true. So I turned on the camera, that was like some months ago and then I started doing it whenever I had, a, had an inspired thought or some ideas and then I just started doing it every day because I started manifesting things so quickly and I started to have like, um, like every day something new is happening. So what I do now and what I'll start doing on Facebook, possibly, is coming on to tell you about the last 24 hours of my life. Because it's amazing that in 24 hours, how like my thoughts and my ideas and my dreams and things are leaping forward really fast. So in just 24 hours, I usually have like 30 minutes worth of something to say. So I'll do that here. Now that I've found that Facebook actually does have filters, even though it's an autumn filter, and this is, oh, I see the options. Girl, shut up, I see the options. Okay, because it is very definitely summer. It's actually, um, it's June 20th, uh, June 20th, and so tomorrow will be the first day of summer. So it's still spring. I should have used the spring one. But anyway, I found the autumn one and it actually, it helped me out. It didn't get my wrinkles, didn't take my wrinkles away. But you know, whatever, I'm 42. <laughs> All right, so I'll tell you about the last 24 hours of my life. And if you need some backstory, I'll let you kind of find it on YouTube because it'll be a lot to explain. It'll be longer than 30 minutes. Um... All right, so what happened yesterday, which was awesome, is that I have been working on the budget diary. The budget diary is out there. It's in my Etsy shop. However, it's the, it's not even the first draft. It's like maybe the third draft or something like that. But it's a very early draft that I have been using. And 
what I did was I started this mastermind group um, at the end of May and so it's basically group coaching and I've been walking them through how to start budgeting from beginning to end but the way that I budget it's not just like okay here it is here's your budget no it's more of mindset and it's a lot of law of attraction so I'm teaching them how to manifest a debt-free status and some you know the ones the girls who are already debt-free I'm teaching them how to manifest a rich lady status um, because all of these things are under our control and so the whole point of my um, business is to help you take the power that you have and make things happen in your life and totally change your life my life right now is unrecognizable from a year ago and believe it or not this is not the end this is only the beginning like I have not even started the race yet this is the prep work this is the training because when I start running baby okay like when I really start changing my life it's gonna be amazing um, I have a lot of big dreams <laughs> okay so what is happening um, usually in the morning what I'm doing is telling you the steps that I'm using with a practical example like hey this is what's happening right now so this is behind the scenes because you don't want to see people you know you see people who have manifested things you see people who have gotten to that stage and they're not telling you the ins and outs um, so what I'm doing is giving you the step-by-step -step, like this is what I'm doing to make these things happen and you can try it along with me like I usually will encourage like hey do this today watch this today read this today um, because I'm a little bit bossy and because I, it works and um, I want to know if you get results so I would love 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 if you would comment um, on the video if you realize that like oh my gosh I'm getting results because I need to hear those stories <clears throat> so I can know like if I'm on, well I know I'm on the right track because I've had enough people come back and say oh my gosh I tried this and this crazy thing happened and I get those stories every day but I haven't gotten one from you specifically so you tell me what's happening in your life when you try these techniques so that is what my daily show is all about now here's the other thing I was doing a weekly Facebook live show on Sunday mornings called life chat I will probably not do that anymore I don't know I might but the, the issue was getting up earlier than my kids and um, having to like it was kind of stressful to like hurry up get up put on makeup even though I'm not going anywhere do a show where I'm like sitting at my desk all prim and proper which is not necessarily my style and so I might just randomly come on on the weekends but I may not make it like a set time so it's not like tune in at 7 30 and I'll be there on live chat no it'll probably just be like catch me when you can <laughs> or watch the replay um, but I will do a daily show during my travel time which I'll call travel chat which I've been calling travel chat on Instagram so either way live chat or tra travel chat tra I can't even say it travel chat <laughs> um, I will see you live just about every day all right so the last 24 hours of my life have been absolutely amazing something that I've been working on for it's I started in January made, trying to make my budget diary usable for other people apart from just me and it's been great I've had good results from it but when we started this mastermind in May I realized that even though I got what I was trying to do and I have been budgeting for a year and I got it but when I tried to teach it to someone else I realized you know what if they didn't have me telling them this they wouldn't be able to walk through this budget diary on their own they would need somebody to kind of guide them through and if the person is not me they would still wouldn't know understand what I was doing or Sophia because I learned how to budget watching Sophia's videos and looking at her pictures on Instagram and it's kind of like okay if you don't have Sophia telling you what goes where it's kind of confusing so what I ended up doing is um, 
creating more pages for the budget diary that help to walk through the process easier and make it more like fill in the blank and hands-on and or hands hands-on hands-on and step-by-step step to where you could just pick it up and go through the steps and know how to do it by yourself now that is not the ideal way to do it <laughs> the ideal way is that you log in and you go through because there's a customer hub that comes free with uh, you get free access with your when you buy the budget diary you get free access to the customer hub there's tutorials in there now um, that's another thing that I'm changing because the way the budget diary is set up right now the tutorials are like for the page it's like okay here's this page here's how you use it whereas I've learned through um, facilitating the mastermind I've learned that people really need the process like how it all gels together what you do every month to budget like what is the mindset stuff about you know and it's disjointed in my customer hub the way it stands now so I'm gonna be updating that but my first big 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 step was to fix I guess you could say fix improve expand the budget diary and I've been working on that for some weeks and I finished it yesterday I finished it yesterday at like four o'clock and I felt amazing I felt so amazing so this is how you change your life when you have the opportunity to feel amazing like something good happens and this started for me it started with something really small like you know months and months ago something really small happened and what I did was um, I used Abraham Hicks uh, method of the rampage and I keep licking my because I feel like there's lipstick on my teeth and there's probably not but I feel like there is so I'm gonna try to stop all right so Abraham Hicks method of the rampage is how I what I use to increase the momentum of good things happening and good thing more good things happen so if you're not familiar with the law of attraction I guess I should start there so this is kind of deep y'all this is kind of deep so you have your subconscious mind and you have your conscious mind your subconscious mind is the part of you that was fully formed at birth and um, from the time you're born to the time you're about like seven to ten years old it was just absorbing all the information around you like a sponge it absorbed all the information um, about relationships about money about the world about the way the world works about family about the way things were supposed to be it sucked in all that stuff without a filter it took it at face value completely just concrete thinking it didn't say well that happened because this or that happened because that like all it said was that happened that happens and that's the way things happen like that's all it said it was like this is the way things are so that got solidified in your head before you were 10 years old so whatever was going on in your um, first decade of life um, if it was turmoil if it was bliss whatever it was that that got solidified in your head as this is the way things are and your so that's it's guiding your life that's what's guiding all your actions your entire life but it's it's silently guiding it's not like it's not like you realize that that's what's happening it's like other people may realize it when they like are with you but you don't realize it yourself a lot of times that's why it says subconscious your conscious mind is the one that's growing and evolving and changing it's the one that you are using all day every day it's the one that you think is in charge you think your conscious mind is leading the way like when you say i'm gonna lose weight i'm gonna lose 20 pounds this year and you think you're in charge you think you're gonna lose weight but your subconscious mind is saying girl you are always gonna be fat you're always gonna be big you're not gonna change your life and so you don't know that what's working below the surface and so what you do is you go on this super great diet you lose 10 pounds and then you're like ah in your head not out loud but you just like start binging on donuts and binging on Chinese food I'm speaking from experience can you tell you binge on donuts you binge on Chinese food and then you gain all your weight back plus then some 
and it's like I'm always gonna be big I am always going to be big because you're not in control so scientists have done research and they have found that there is another part because there was some research uh, I think it was in neurology they were trying to figure out like what is really guiding us what's really our motivations and yada 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 and so they they know about the conscious mind the subconscious mind but then they were like there's this other part and it's this is our inner being this is our connection to God it's the God part that's connected in our in our mind and it's a still small voice it's a tiny way if you go to church you know that that term the still small voice it's a tiny voice and it's it whispers things to us it whispers our guidance that's our internal guidance system that's our God part I when I if you hear me talk about it I call it source energy I call it the universe I call it the ocean I call it all these things and I only call it the ocean because of Moana I love that movie Moana and she always you know she's like ocean give me a little help so that's what I call the God that's within me so that God part is always trying to guide us towards the better feeling thought the better thing the best life ever is trying to guide us but sometimes we are not listening because you have to do some very specific things in order to listen to that part of yourself and then there is a yet another layer of guidance and that is the energy that is emitted from our heart our inner our heart emits energy outward from us and if you know anything about physics or metaphysics energy attracts other energy so in the law of attraction it said that like energy attracts like energy so positive energy will attract positive energy now as the the scientist in me I'm like that's not right like positive attracts negative like those come together well it's not the other way around but I am not a metaphysicist, so I cannot explain why that doesn't make sense to me. All I know is that in Law of Attraction, which is an irrefutable law of the universe, just like gravity, that like energy attracts like. So positive, you put positive out and positive will come to you. If you put negative out, negative will come to you. So this is the reason why if you're always talking about like I can't do this and I can't do that and I don't have this and I don't have that well you know what that's why you don't have it that's why you can't do it that's why you won't do it that's why your life is not gonna change but you got to break that cycle and start doing something different so you have to start saying that you can do things and you have to start feeling the positive things even when the positive things are not quite there yet and when you put that energy out you'll attract those positive things sounds weird probably is but it's working for me so there you go now practicing I want to say practicing law of attraction but you're not practicing it because you know what it's happening whether you care or not like if you if you are not like deliberately creating the world around you you're just getting what you're getting and then you're asking like why is this always happen to me well it's the energy you're putting out but you're not you know trying to deliberately change that energy so you're gonna just keep getting the same thing you've always gotten so here's this is what I was gonna tell you about the the last 24 hours so what I do and this is what I started doing when I first 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 realized this because I was in a really bad place really bad place last year I was in a really bad place <clears throat> and I had been depressed on and off for my entire life I was never happy because I never felt like I was truly being myself I was always trying to make other people around me comfortable always trying to achieve something to prove something to someone who could you know would never you know either be in my life or approve of anything I did it, like it didn't even matter like I was just trying to achieve and it wasn't for me anyway um so you get a lot of momentum around that so once you start pushing that ball down the hill it's gonna roll and roll and roll and roll and roll like it's gonna be hard to stop that moving train so many metaphors it's gonna be hard to stop that train of thought and switch to something happy when you you don't feel happy so what I started doing was anytime I felt satisfied with something 
I would milk it like crazy. Like I would take the smallest win in my day and I would like sit and, and like rampage on it for like five minutes and just rampage on it. And I'll show you a rampage in a minute. But that's how I got the momentum going for happy stuff. So then I, I changed my energy from negative to hopeful to happy and then have more happy stuff started happening to me and more joy was drawn into my life and then each time it would happen and I would feel like really good and really satisfied I'd rampage again and I'd just rampage and rampage and rampage because as you rampage you build the momentum and going in the right direction so I'll show you what I did yesterday or like similar it won't be word for word but yesterday <clears throat> I finished the budget diary energy drink kind of it's so good I finished the budget diary and I was like blown away I was like oh my gosh this is so freaking amazing it's beautiful it's functional it's practical it's amazing all right so here's my rampage I cannot believe how awesome this feels I feel so satisfied. I feel so accomplished. I feel better right now than I've felt any time I've graduated from anything. I feel better than I felt when I've taken a test and aced a test. Like I feel like I just freaking made something with my hands and my brain and it's amazing. Like how is this so amazing? <sighs> Who am I? Who am I, Lord? Who am I that you would ask me to be the one to birth this project? You would ask me to be the vessel through which this product comes. There's no way. <laughs> Who am I that you would be mindful of me and you would hear me when I call? When I said last year that I wanted to change my life and I didn't have a single clue of how to do it, how is it possible that you looked down at me and said, you're the one who's going to bring the budget diary into the world to show people that there's a better way of life, to get out of debt, to live their best life, to tap into source, to have a direct communication with me, source of all everything. You are the one that I'm going to give this project to and I'm going to hold your hand until it's done. I feel so much joy. I feel like celebrating. I feel peaceful. I feel hopeful. I feel like there's a way that I could I could change my life. I feel like everything's going to change. I feel happy. I feel joyous. I feel accomplished. I feel smart. I feel like a freaking genius. I feel brilliant. I feel capable. I feel hopeful. I feel so capable. I feel capable. I feel worthy. I feel worthy, but I feel humble. I feel amazing. I feel amazing. I feel like, like, like a waterfall. I feel like a waterfall. I feel so much abundance. I feel like magic. I feel like a magician I feel like tuned in I feel connected I feel held I feel happy I feel amazing and then I just started singing and dancing around and I've been singing and dancing ever since like even this morning usually I'll listen to a book um, and I'm listening to Do Less by Kate Northrop right now, by the way. I didn't even listen to a book. I listened to Hamilton. And if you know me in real life, you know that I will sing Hamilton at the top of my lungs. I've been singing Hamilton at the top of my lungs for like four years. It's crazy. I know. That was a weird call. Sorry for the interruption. Um, so, yes. Um, yes, I, I was singing Hamilton this morning. I'm just like super excited. I'm fl riding this wave of like excitement. <sighs> anyway, um, so that's how you get the momentum going in the right direction. Instead of telling those lame old, you know, Jen Sincero calls them like sad sack stories, you know, sad sack Sally. Instead of being a sad sack and telling the same story over and over again about how horrible you are and what a loser you are, start 
rampaging on something awesome that's happening and you start feeling more and more awesome more and more of the time and guess what awesome things come into your life lots of awesome things have come into my life if you want to know about them you have to watch the blog because I'm about to end today's episode of travel chat and I think I will be here um, every morning so and I'll have a, a, a season appropriate filter on next time so um, comment below tell me how this uh, how this uh, impacted your life and if you do a rampage let me know how it goes it's gonna be awkward at first you're gonna have trouble finding the words but when the words start to flow they will really start to flow because you'll start to feel those feelings all right well it was lovely being on Facebook Live this morning. See you later.